this is Talk Comics, and we're here with John Wagner. We're here today at Glasgow Comic Con. So, how are you finding the event? Oh, it's good, good. Uh, a nice little venue, this Macintosh Church. Uh, the acoustics maybe aren't all that could be desired, but it's nice, and I always love coming to Glasgow. Uh -huh. What do you think about the comic scene up here? What's your opinion on it? Uh, I have no opinion. I don't know enough about it, too. but there seem to be a lot of uh, there's a lot of independence at the moment, aren't there? Uh -huh. And uh, I think a lot of things spun off. Uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, Electric Soup. Electric Soup. Yeah, and, yes. and from there everything seems to have broadened, and there there does seem to be quite a uh, an interesting uh, independent industry. I don't know how well many of them are doing. I imagine much of it is on a shoestring. And of course, the big interest right now is Judge Dredd, of course, with the film on the way. Yeah. I believe you've seen it. What can you tell us about it? Uh, I'm not allowed to tell you that much because I've signed a non-disclosure agreement. But, I mean, you've probably read comics, the comments from me uh, yes. that I am pleased with it. And I'm very pleased with it, actually. I mean, it, it, it's, um, it's not war and peace, but you wouldn't expect that. And I, I think they've done a really nice job. The acting is great, and Carl Urban is very good dread. Olivia Thorby is a terrific Anderson, and uh, the plot is basically dread. There's nothing that happens in that movie that's not dread, whereas in the first movie you'd be hard-pressed to find something that was. I think everybody just wants to pretend the Stallone version didn't exist. Yeah, yeah it's a pity too, because their production values were great. Yes. Uh, well, they had the budget for it, it really was good. And of course, there's the Judge Dredd epic going on just now, the Day of Chaos, where everything's changing. It's, yeah. It seems to be the biggest epic since the, the Apocalypse War. Ever. So how did that come about? How did you decide to make such a shake-up of the Dredd universe? Uh, well, partly it's because I find short stories really hard to write at the moment because I, I'm uh, sort of exhausted of ideas. But, and uh, so I like to work on a a broader palette and uh, I'm also aware that every time I've done an epic in the past as I said here I, I march readers up to the top of the hill and then I march them back down again and nothing really changes and this time thinking about it I knew I couldn't do that again because uh, well it would piss everyone off uh, and as, as that thought developed, the idea of destroying the city became more and more attractive. Partly because of the, the new stories it will allow us to tell. The whole ground rules have changed now. It's a different city. I mean, it's still Mega City One. It's still got the basic infrastructure and the, the whole judicial system. But there's so many new stories to be had. It's probably, I mean, it's a more dangerous place now than it was before. So I'm really looking for, I think the first one comes out, what well, must be out now, the first new one. I'm looking forward to seeing what these, because there's some really good young writers working on Dread. Young, younger than me. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. Uh, was there any resistance? Because it's such a severe change. I didn't reveal person. what was going to oh. happen. <laughs> I, I mean, I think the idea was there in my mind at the beginning, but as I wrote it, the whole thing took on shape, and I didn't actually tell until it was too late. I didn't tell them what I intended to do, but I think, I think they're coming along with me. I mean, it's not like the story's ended. It's a, it's a new kind of dread, and I think it will revitalise the story. As the feedback's been amazing online, everybody's excited again about dread. I think it, uh, in the beginning, I think a lot of people were uh, equivocal about it because I took my time building it up, and I think you know when's something going to happen here? But I really wanted to establish the whole background to what was going to happen, and once it did start happening it was like dominoes one thing and then another and I really enjoyed that part of it that was fun I sat down what will I destroy today <laughs> and so uh, I don't think the management knew what I was going to do with it but then neither did I completely and generally I'm glad to say they trust me fools <laughs> So what else are you working on just now? I'm just doing a, a Judge Death story and uh, 
strontium dog again and in my spare time I'm uh, working on ideas for novels and uh, new comic strip uh, but so far nothing's come of that you know I just don't I don't want to write something that's half good I want it to be uh, you know whatever I come up with is going to have to be say at least as good as button man uh, so I'm waiting till the right idea comes along is it true that the Button Man film project, there's some life in it again? Oh yeah, yeah. It's, uh, well, now that they have uh, seem to have appointed Nicholas Winding Refn. From Drive, of course. Yes, from Drive. I thought that's given it a great new input. And the fact that he actually asked for it. That's you know, he came off his latest project and said, now I want Button Man. Uh, that's great. I mean, here's someone who will pro I mean, he, also he's a different kind of director he, he's he's got different ideas and i think it needs new ideas to bring button man to the screen because what we don't want is the usual hollywood cliche and i'm glad to say spielberg has always rejected that scripts that came along that resorted to uh, tired old tropes he said no so they've had several scripts in and they've rejected them all and although that's depressing, you think this is never going to be made, I'm glad he's not made the wrong film. Okay, so anything else in, in the future lined up? Any dream projects that you're... No, not really. Just, yeah. You're just happy with what's going on just now? Uh, yeah, I'm, well, the older I get, the lazier I get. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, at the moment I write my maybe one script a week, and that, that will take me all week. Yes. And sometimes two weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... Uh, uh, so... I'm just looking for the time to do new things. I'm too old, too lazy, too slow to to work very quickly anymore. But you've earned the rest now, of course, all these years. Yeah, I've earned it, but I can't afford it. <laughs>